As a musician, I've been involved in the music of Michael Nyman for over 30 years. So when we started this project, the first task was to find what materials were available to construct the score that was needed for the film. We had hardly any materials available, and so it was necessary to have a transcriber transcribe the music in real time from the film, listening to the film, and committing the music to paper, or in this case, um, a computerized manuscript. And that was how the thing started. The whole point of the project was to be completely faithful to the score and reproduce it exactly as it was on the film. I'm always looking for interesting films to present in this way with the orchestra playing the soundtrack live. It's become such a, a popular genre. And what you try and do is find projects that are popular as a film, but also have some interest musically. And the piano is an obvious one when you think about it, because not only was the soundtrack incredibly successful, in fact, one of the most successful film scores ever written by a British composer. But also, of course, music is a main character in the film itself. Putting these film projects together can be a bit of a challenge, particularly if they're older films and they weren't made digitally. So we had to go right back to the film itself and the music there because a lot of the music had been either lost or sort of left behind at the sessions. We had to get someone to transcribe the music from the film soundtrack itself. I get sent all of the original stems, the tracks, which are always in a film, separate dialogue, effects, atmosphere, um, foley, which is all the little effects that are put on afterwards, and music. And so we have those as separate ones, which means, of course, we can take away the music from the soundtrack because we're replacing it with the live orchestra. And once we've got the music, and once we've got all the technical things ready, I then prepare a version of the film for the conductor. Everything has to be timed exactly, and we use time code, and frames to get the music starting and finishing in exactly the right place. The conductor needs a visual guide to be able to do that. And so I prepare that. They're called streamers and punches. It's a long used system of being able to keep in time with, with pictures. I do quite a lot of the work on these films myself. And I had a project recently where I wanted to do the orchestration and I needed a music program that enabled me to do that. And Dorico came along and was absolutely perfect for me. Having Lily prepare the music for the piano has been brilliant. Producing the music for the piano in Dorico was really easy. The music XML import brings in loads of details and it automatically just looks beautiful on the page without you needing to do very much at all. The thing that's different about making parts in Dorico than other softwares I've used is that Dorico can have multiple separate bits of music in the same project. Dorico calls those flows, um, but you can think of them as separate movements or separate cues like we're doing here in the piano. And if you were recording the film score, you wouldn't do this because normally the, the cues are separate. And so the player gets a separate piece of paper for each cue. But if you're doing it in concert and, in, and if some of the cues are short like they are in the piano, having all the cues in the same project means you can save space, you can put multiple cues on the same page. Because Dorico handles a lot of this by default, I very quickly get to the more pleasing job in which an engraver loves to do is to use their expertise to lay out the parts in a sort of practical and beautiful way. We don't want the players to think about the music, we want them to read it and to perform it to their best ability, which is what they do. So my job is to make their job easier. I've been a member of the Michael Nyman Band for over 30 years and I've been in intimately involved in Michael's music and I'm really pleased to be involved in this project and for the first time you're going to be able to hear the exact music live to the film and what a great opportunity that is for us all. <laughs>